Hey, my name is Doc Shell. Welcome to Dr. Test Prep. Right now, my focus is helping you improve your math scores on the PSAT and SAT. I'm so thankful you're letting me be part of your process. Right now, we're looking at Khan Academy Unit 8, Lesson 12 on exponential functions. I've created some questions very similar to what you'll see in Khan. Um, please click the link in the description to open up the Desmos calculator, choose assessment, college board. And if you have bought my book to stay organized on Amazon, we're on page 164. If not, Paper and pencil works great, so do screenshots or your cell phone. All right, given the equation y equals 25, 0.78 to the 4x, which characteristic of the graph is displayed as a constant or coefficient? So you know me, let's type it in, y equals 25 parentheses, 0.78 parentheses, shift 6. Let's just type the 4x as an exponent. Okay, so let's look at all the critical values that we've got going on here. First of all, we can see that, yeah, 25 very easily is the y-intercept, okay? Here, the asymptote would be at y equals zero, and that's not in our equation. The slope will not be the correct answer. That would be the correct answer if it was a linear function, like y equals mx plus b. And then it's not ever going to have an x-intercept because the asymptote is on, like, the y is the x-axis. Question done. All right, let's look at number two. Which of the following equations is represented by the graph to the right? So we're going to just type in each equation. y equals negative 2 times 1.25 to the x power. Well, that one goes down, so that's not it. Let's put 0 0.75 inside. That is still underneath the x-axis, so it's not that one. Let's put in choice C. Actually, that's choice D, so it's not D, so it must be choice C. Let's put in 1.25, and yep, it is choice C. All right, let's look at number three. What is the y-intercept for the, func the following function? So all we're going to do is graph it. I mean, you can tell right away it's 525, but still, let's graph it so you can see what I'm talking about. And I know it's 525 because that first number is my initial value. Okay. So we can't see anything here. So I, part of the reason why I picked, I like wrote this function to be so hard or so big is I want to remind you how to use this little wrench. So we're going to click the wrench for graph settings and we want the Y value. So we're going to put a big, huge number as my highest Y axis, like a thousand. And now that I've done that, it's so much easier to follow the graph and see that the Y intercept is at 525. When I'm done, I can just either hit home or I could have hit the delete all and it would have recentered it. All right. Well, that's it for the basic examples of unit eight, lesson 12. Please come back for the harder examples in the next video. <laughs> Bye.